Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome back. I am Lutra FM, as always, and I'm currently managing Socho in the French National uh, French League Two now because I got them promoted last season. Um, at the moment, we are currently nine points away from the playoffs. We have got um, I think it's six or eight games left. I think it's eight games left. So over this episode, next episode, I'll be finishing up their matches. And then you never know. I don't think we're going to get in the playoffs. I think the other teams above us are way too strong. But you never know. We have, after the Troy's game that's coming up in a minute, we've got a pretty easy run-up. So if we hit form at the right time, we might just sneak into the playoffs. But we'll have to just see how we get on. But yeah, um, just want to say, as always, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for following. Um, sorry, liking the video, subscribing, commenting. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching. It, it it will get better over time. I will get better as a uh, YouTuber, so you just have to bear with us. But yeah, right. I'll be back in a second with the first game of the episode against Troy's. Now I wouldn't normally do this, but we've had an interesting news box item. Um, so show Monte Mont sorry Montbellard have attracted takeover interest from consortium backed by. Neil Santana and Amin Natenda, respectively. Natenda has criticised the challenger for declaring that a new manager would be installed should he prove successful taking control of the club. Natenda told Football France that it was unfair to lead supporters on, um, on at a time of uncertainty, whilst it's also completely disrespectful to current manager Ronaldo Beckham. I totally agree with you, Nintendo. Um the Socio board has placed an embargo upon transfers as a result of the rumours regarding the possible takeover. These restrictions will remain in place until the outcome of the takeover is resolved. So I have forwarded a couple of um, times. We'll just, there you go. So the consortium led by Palencia based investor Neil Santana, which is not who we wanted to take over, has successfully completed a takeover of Socio, replacing former chairperson Jean Claude Palice. I don't know, Palice? Palice. Santana revealed that he's delighted by the deal and indicated he wants to make a difference at the fans at the estate, Auguste Bonal. And then um, he says, I want to thank you for your patience. It has undoubtedly been a stressful time for you involved at the club. Some 1.5 million has been pumped into the club coffers and a new transfer budget has been calculated. And then it's just basically a new board taking over. Um, the board wants us to not sign any players under 30, which is fine. We're not signing anybody. Work within the wage budget. Maximum one-year contracts for anybody over 32, which is fine because we don't really keep players when they get a certain age. Um, they want us to avoid relegation from League 2, which we are which are delighted about that I've done. Being competitive in Coupe de France, which I was. Um, training facilities improved. And then they want us to become an established League 2 team, which is what we've done. Uh, and then my contract expires then, but basically they just want us to become a established League Two team. Um, right, so they're fine. They're happy for us to operate in the trans window, which I'm not going to do anyway. Uh, let me just do these because I've got OCD and I can't just leave it. Um, there we go. Right, that's that. Let's just check the finances now. So 6.4 million, which I think was basically what it was before they took over. Um, yeah, the balance doesn't look too good, but because it's a consortium, you never know. Um, we've got 7.7 .7 million transfer budget now. Obviously, we're not going to use any of it. I can't put any of it into the wage budget, but our wage budget is pretty damn good when you think about it. So it means we'll get to offer new contracts to uh, youngsters to keep them. Let's just see if the board are willing to back improving areas that I want to improve. See if they'll build a new stadium, you never know. We'll come back to that. We've got the Troy's game now. I know because then normally I'll just do game to game, but I thought it might be interesting for you lot to watch that as it goes on. So uh, uh, I was quite happy with the old owners. I don't know what to make of these new ones. But anyway, let's get on with what our job is, which is football. So we've got Popal or Popov in goal, um, the Costa, Diagne, Bossi, and Galvez in defence, and then Tete and Viltard in the middle, Weisbeck, Hazard on the wings, Fatar and Vaz up front. 
Unfortunately, Kofi is injured, so I don't think he'll be playing. I know, I think he'll be back in a few weeks, actually. I think it's only a few weeks he's injured for. Uh, let's hope we can beat Troy's and start this episode on a good foot. Because if we beat them, we're getting a little bit closer to the playoffs. And also, it, it hinders Troy's. So, this is a game we need to win, really, to keep our chances of getting into the playoffs, which are already slim as it is. But uh, I'm focusing more on next season because, like I said, Strasbourg, Bordeaux and Lyon will not be... Well, I think I assume it's going to be Lyon if they're in the playoffs. Um, whoever it is out of these three, out of them two, I'm, I'm assuming Bordeaux or Lyon, if they're in the playoffs, they'll just get promoted, I think. Oh, we're just giving them... Have we given them a penalty? I think we've given them a penalty by the looks of it. But we'll see. Okay. Yeah, we're giving them a penalty. God's sake. All right, save it, save it, save it. Oh, nearly. Right, I'm going to try firing up the players. I'm going to try something new. Usually I'll just go encourage or demand more, but I'm just going straight away for the, you know, show some passion, lads. Hopefully that will fire them up. Um, but it looks at the stats. No, no, it hasn't. Oh, well. Right, let's see what the second half brings. Let's try it. Oh, Weisbeck's injured. Carl Zenti can go in. All right, let's try demanding a bit more. Um, we just have to take off our right back. I can't remember who it was. It's Costa. Right, let's try encouraging the players. See if that'll do anything. Try the nicey nicey approach, you never know. Oh, good tackle there, Fatar. Right, come on, Fatar. Let's hope this is a highlight for us and they don't take the ball off us again. Vaz. Oh, what a ball. <gasps> Get in. Go on. Go on, Fatar. He started that all off with the tackle as well, so fair play to him. 1 1. Unexpected equaliser there. Right, let's try encouraging. Uh, they've got a highlight. Let's take off. Bizarre and Viltord. Right, headed out nicely, but they've still got the ball. Good tackle. Fatar again. Look at him. Showing some passion. Oh, that's a shame. Hopefully that'll be disallowed. Good tackle by Fatar, though. Fair play to him. Good. Thank you, referee. Um, oh, we've got a throw in. Could we sneak a little win here? You never know. They've been the, they've been the better team, Troy's, but hopefully we'll take our chances better. The silver, good ball. Get in, go on. Get it in. Sorry, sorry, my dog sat next to me, terrified of me, just getting shouty, shouty. Right, I need to, uh, I need to do some this. I need to do some tinkering. I need to go very defensive in a second. Come on, let's grind this. Let's grind this win out. Oh no, FM just doesn't want us to win. Nah. I just knew it was going to happen. Oh, that's so annoying. Kind of makes it, I kind of just annoyed that we scored. We should have, we should have waited until like the last minute and then scored maybe. Right, let's try encouraging. Let's see if we can get a late winner here. You never know. There still might be a further sting in the tail. Oh God, I hope they don't score from this. I don't mind a draw. Go on, Fatar. Fatar, man of the match so far. Nabo. Go on. Oh, so close. Oh, that's wounded me, that has. They showed some fire, though. Fair play to them. Fair play to Fatar. Another bloody injury. Weisbeck. The Costa. That's the right side of our play. Buggered. Right then, I'll be back, as always, with the next uh, game.
All right, so we're back. Uh, just a little update. Um, the board request I put in, um, I don't think the stadium one has been sorted yet. I don't know whether they've rejected or not. Or they might have done and I've not realised, but um, they turned down the chance to improve. Um, I think it was, I don't know, I think it was uh, youth recruitment, but they did accept the request to improve the junior coaching. So we've now got exceptional academy coaching, sorry. Um, we've already got an excellent youth recruitment anyway, and an excellent youth facilities, and excellent training facilities, good corporate facilities, 20,000 stadiums. So there's a lot of potential here. Um, it's owned by the council though, so we, could, we need to buy the stadium basically uh, at some point. But yeah, so anyway, so we've got a game against FC Anisi. And we should be beating them, but we are very depleted at the moment because of the injury crisis we've got. So we've just got to hope for the best, really. But um, we've got Popov in goal, Galvez on the right, Grillip is in the centre defence with Diagne, Bossy's on the left, Biltard and Tete in, mid in the middle, Carzenti on the right, Pizard is always on the left, and then Fatard and Vaz up front. So let's see how it goes. It's nice to see Vaz getting a few, uh, a few games under his belt, though. He's definitely just behind Kofi now. Um, Fatars has been a really good like striker to play alongside them, either Vaz or Kofi. He does bring out the best in both of them. So I class him as like my my M or Heskey, but he does tend to score more goals than Heskey ever did. Go on, good interception there by Pizard. Great bombs up the wing. One two with uh, Fatar. Unfortunately, it gets cancelled out by. Their opposition. Oh no. Oh, thank God for that. Um, I don't want to be losing to a team who are literally bottom near the bottom of the league. Should be beating them. Yeah, I mean look, they're there. If we can't beat a team that's like seven positions below us in the league. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, really. <clears throat> right. Try to demand a bit more, really. We need to be a little bit better. That's more like it. Get them shots up. Arzenti and Pazard are not playing very well at the moment. Let's give them a bit of a telling off. Oh, we can't. The Bizarre for some reason. Right, Vargas got the corner for the opposition. Loops in, headed out. Good defending by us. They've still got the ball though. I'm hoping this leads to nothing. Oh, God's sake. Hopefully, VAR will come to our rescue. I feel like the player was offside. I think he's too far. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. Not having this, lads. Get your thumb out your arse and do something. Oh, I pressed the wrong one then. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Come on. Carzenti gives it to Tete. Oh, Tete, come on. Ah. <sighs> I feel like I'm managing Man United at the moment. Like, go in on here. Oh my god, that was a good goal though in their defence. Remember that name, Yakuba Barry. Is he a good player? He's actually pretty good to be honest. Only 22 years old. Who's he, who's he used to play for? Lens. Yeah. This is not on, lads. Come on. Right, Carzenti can come off. Uh, oh, we've got Kofi on the bench. That's good. Right, let's put you on. Uh, let's put you on. Who's playing? The strikers aren't playing too bad. It's everybody else. Uh, Bossy, you can come off. No, you can't. We haven't got anybody to put on for you. So, Grillet, you can come off. Come on. We should have beaten these. All 
Right. We've still got plenty of time. I know we're two 0 down, but oh God's sake, we're we're doing stuff like that. We're gonna we're not gonna get back in this game. If anything, they're gonna score again in a minute. They've been all over us. Absolute cock up there by the goalie. Don't know what the hell he was doing. Right, Vaz, you can come on. Kofi needs to come on. Come on, it's Kofi time. Might be too late if they score from here. No. Right, come on, Kofi. Let's nick the ball. That's it. Well done, Kofi. You start the attack. He's already making a contribution. Oh, look at that. Oh, Fatah, what are you doing? Kofi would have probably done better with that one. Got the ball. Guerres. Galvez. Will Tard. Yes, get in. Go on. Right, let's get back in this game. Come on. Let's at least get a point here. Right, there we go. Corner to us. Oh, penalty. Get in. Come on. Right. This is going to be a penalty, though. Yes. Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Lots of pressure on him right now. Let's see what he does. Oh, Kofi, come on. You're the main man here. You shouldn't be doing that. Corner to us. Can we score from the corner? We can't. Viltard. I feel like this is going to disappear in the set. This hole up there we go. I knew that was going to happen. Come on, there's still time. All right, free kick. Viltard with the free kick. Loops it in. Ah. We're banging on the door, though. We've been the better team in the second half. All right, Tete's knackered, so we'll put on Mendes, uh, De Silva. Ah, oh, we're not gonna win. We're not gonna get a point here. Ah, oh, that is so disappointing. We waited way too long to get into that game. That was a winnable game. That was playing bottom of the league next. We better beat them. Right, as always, I'll see you in a sec. So just before our next game, I just thought I'd show you some of the players that come through the youth intake. Um, we've got a player called Bob Bob Abdu. He is Beninese. Um, potential value up to 900k. Four to five star potential. Uh, driven personality, which gives me high hopes for him. Um, defensive midfielder, attacking midfielder, centre usually can play as a DLP or a ball winning midfielder. So probably trained up to be an anchor as well. What tactics? We use again. Let's have a look. So we do. He can play in one of the because actually you can play in both the uh, the roles here in the midfield. So that's good. So that's him. Uh, I'll actually before I click on him, let's see what key attributes he's got already. Um, de good technique, really good determination, good flair, decent leadership, good vision, and good balance and good aggression as well. So yeah, They're definitely one to watch out for in the future. And then we've got Elise. Uh, Gugnard, a centre defender and also a defensive midfielder. Up to 1 million rated value. Key attributes are really good tackling, really good bravery and really good natural fitness. Fairly ambitious as well, which is a good personality to have. And then we've got Noah Labat, up to 425k value at the moment. A central midfielder. Don't usually play as uh, with central midfielders, so... Um, I might train him up to be a defensive midfielder at some point if he's good enough. But anyway, fairly professional personality, really good first touch, decent technique and passing, good aggression, good flair and decent natural fitness. Um, we've got this player here called Rene Didot, up to 1.9 rated value. So I'm assuming he's probably the best out of the four. Um, Balanced personality, attacking midfielder, and also can play on the left. So he has decent first touch, decent technique, decent aggression, good uh, good determination, decent flair, good natural fitness, and good acceleration as well. So definitely one to watch out for. Um, there's a couple of us here as well. 
Lucas Arigi, um, fairly professional. Uh, is he a goalkeeper? I'll just, yeah, goalkeeper. As I said, I did need another goalkeeper, so that's good. Uh, we've got this player called William Pinto. Decent one, fairly determined. Uh, he's unambitious, so that's not good. Don't look at him. Unambitious again. So we'll just leave the rest. Um, but yeah, not a bad, not a bad youth intake at all. It just boosts what we already have, really. So the problem we're going to have is we're going to have such a bloated squad sooner or later. We're going to have to start selling these, hopefully, for good money. So we just keep doing the same thing, cycling in, cycling out. When they get a certain age, we sell them and make a bit of profit on them. Because they're all youth. Uh, I think most of them are from the youth academy. So, yeah, we'll, we'll make profit either way. But anyway, right, we've got... Amiens now, bottom of the league. We need to, we should win this game. I'll be really annoyed if we don't. But we've got Popov in goal, Gavez on the right, um, Grillot and Bossy in centre defence. Bastian's back, thank God for that. Drammy's back as well, which is really good to see. Biltard and then Fatars on the right, Fazard on the left, Baz and Kofi up front. So it's good to see Kofi back. Hopefully, Vaz will do well in a more, in, a, in that advanced forward role. Usually he plays in the other role, the DLF. Uh, we'll see how he gets on in a more familiar role to him. Get in, we're already scored for Tar. 12th goal of the season. That's more like it, lads. That's what we want to see. Right, are they going to get an equalised? No, they don't. We get the ball off them for Tar. Good tackling there by Kofi. I love to see my strikers uh, getting the ball off. Of, oh, that was a terrible pass for Tar. Miscommunication by them two there. Go on, Viltard. Oh, that was another terrible pass for Tar. Are we giving them the chance to equalise here? We are. Great. Right, 1-1 one, one after 8 minutes. I feel like this is going to be a high-scoring game. Um, we're probably not going to... Two games have been played, and we're still 9 points away from the playoffs. So we're not going to make the playoffs, everyone. Sorry to burst your bubble, but... I mean, technically, mathematically, we still can, but we're not going to make the playoffs. But if we get 7, I'll be alright with that. I'll be happy with that. There we go. Good ball. Get in. Go on, Vaz. Great little pass by Pazard as well. That says Le Post. Is that like, um, I was going to say, is that like, is that the French version of Le Coste? But uh, instead of Le Coste, it's Le Post. But Le Coste is French. Oh, for God's sake, they've equalised. Yeah, so Le Coste is already French, so it wouldn't be the French version of Le Coste. Uh, right. Come on. Every time we score, they bloody equalise. It's very frustrating. I would like us to get a bit of a lead. Kofi crosses it in. Headed over by Vaz. Don't think Bastian's going to play the whole game, unfortunately. He'll probably have to come off at half-time. Oh, he's going to have to come off now. Oh, for God's sake, we're now losing. Losing to bottom of the league. This is disgraceful. It's not like we're playing badly either. We're playing really good. We're just defending really badly. It's starting to really annoy me now because we're such a good... Uh, like, up front, we're such a good team. Get in. Come on. 3-3 free free after 38 minutes, eh? If you were a neutral, this would be a great game. I hope you're entertained by this. Right, half time can't come soon enough. Oh, here we go. Get it out. Get away. That's it. Well done. Right, come on. Blow the half time whistle now. Come on, bossy. Keep control of the ball. That's it. There we go. 
Oh, maybe we can make something else. Maybe we can score just before half time, get back in the lead. Just not lose the ball. Good ball. Go on, Passard. Dramé to Viltard. Cross to Galvez. Galvez now. Beautiful pass. Go on, Kofi. Kofi with his. I missed that. What does it say? 19 gold this season. See, he's made the step up. Um, my doubts about him being able to. I think he'll be a really good striker in League One when we, if we ever get promoted up there with him uh, in the team. I worry that he'll get attracted by bigger clubs and we'll probably lose him, which will be a shame. At least I know the Baz can step up. Oh, what's happened here? Has he? Has they got a penalty? This game's ridiculous. This is. It's just one after the other. Not even half time, and it's going to be. It's going to potentially be four four. Oh, okay. Thank God for that. Oof. Right. Demand a bit more. Let's kill this game off now. Uh, I'm going to take Griller off because he's been really bad. Uh, I actually can't take him off. I have no central defenders. So I need to shout at him at some point when I get a chance. <laughs> I still think it's ridiculous that you can't just do random shouts when you want to. Right, Drame is up to come off. Or is coming off, I think. Oh, maybe not. I think we used up all of our subs. Right. I'm quite happy this second half has been really boring. I'm just My nerves can't take it. No. Do not get an equaliser. Thank God for you, Popov. Great save. Oh, I can take players off. There you go. Drame. Why is it not taking Drame off? Oh, this is really confusing. I've pressed it three twice now. Drame, come off. Why are you not letting me take Drummy off? And then you you're saying I've got the option to take him off, and then I can't take him off. I don't know. This game confuses me. Right, thank God for that four three. Great game for you lot. Stressful game for me. Still nine points behind. Right, there we go. Give him a bit of praise. Uh, I'll just go on holiday, and then you'll see me in a second. Right, so here we are. We've got Grenoble now. Um, so I think it's pretty much quite a similar team as usual. Tete's in for Drame though. Um, Nabo's playing up front with Vaz. So where's Kofi? Kofi injured again? No, he's not. So why is he not playing? Uh, you know what? I'll leave it because maybe there's a reason. Plus, it'll be good to have Kofi on the bench and we can bring him on. No Fatar though either. So uh, we just gotta trust uh oh he's on the bench as well. Maybe they're just resting. I think maybe the assistant manager might be just automatically resting players. Because he thinks that we're he's confident we'll just beat Grenoble, hopefully. I'm hoping that's what it is. Uh we got a day view on the bench, Enzo Noel Dode. Um maybe he'll make his day view if Bastian is it Bastian as left back today? Uh, I'll find out in a second. No, it's not. It's uh, Galvez. Maybe if Galvez gets injured or knackered, we'll put on him and he'll make his debut for us. Uh, right. First highlight of the game goes to Grenoble. Let's see what we can make of this. Uh, maybe Nabo's just playing because he's whenever he's played he's played quite well maybe the assistant manager wants to give him a chance Jamal Lowe former Swansea player I think is the goal going to be allowed or not goal awarded okay not the best to start another highlight to them this is quite concerning this kind of makes me think why is the assistant manager decided to rest our two best strikers there we go. Go on, Baz. Prove me wrong. Oh my god, what was that bizarre? That was bizarre by bizarre. 
Good vision by DaCosta to clear that mess up. Galvez. Cross to Vaz. Vaz over the top ball to Carzenti. And then Nabo failed to finish it off. Only one shot in this game so far. And that was a goal for Grenoble. We've got a free kick now though. Hopefully Viltard will score. No he doesn't. Good save by the goalie. Corner to us. Lazard loops it up. We're now eighth now. Grenoble's overtook us. Very frustrating. Oh, God. Come on. Get into this game. For God's sake. 2 0 down against Grenoble. We're going to probably be eighth, maybe. All right, corner to us. I think, uh, yeah, I think Nabo's coming off straight away. We'll put Kofi on. Like I said, I'm annoyed that flipping Kofi and Fatal weren't starting in the first place. They're two best strikers. Baz is doing all right though, 6.6. .6. He's not doing too bad. Viltard. Costa loses the ball. Still got possession. Go on, Kofi. Get in! That's why he starts every game. 20th goal of the season for Kofi. Alright, Carzenti, you're playing rubbish, so we'll put Fatal on, I think. Right, we've got our two best players on the pitch now. Let's see what we can do. Go on. Go on, Tete. Vaz. Passes it to... Oh, okay. Right, still got the ball. Tete again. Oh, go for another shot. Hits the goalkeeper. Uh, hits the defender's legs. Tete with the ball to Bazard. Bazard with the shot. Now Vaz picks up the ball. The Costa. Oh, I thought that was going to go in then. Right, we can still get into this game. Corner. Oh, headed over by Kofi. We've been looking at the stats, we look like we've been the better team, but just Grenoble, I think they're just, I think it's just FM being FM and a goal. Just, just ridiculous. Jamal Lowe got a hat trick. How have we not, are we not even a uh, man marking this man? Opposition. Yeah, we're doing everything we should be. He's just too bloody good. Right, if they score this goal, it's game over. We're not getting back into this game. Oh my god. <sighs> that was such a poor error then. Now, uh, this is a lesson learned. Don't start a game without your two best strikers. This is what happens. We're very poor defensively, though. That's the problem we've got at the moment. Attack-wise, we're very good. Defensively, we're not. We need to produce. We need to be producing better defensive players. Maybe I need to look into bringing in a defensive coach for the under nineteens or under eighteen. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, right. I'll be back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Um, I apologize, I thought that we had another game before the end of the episode, but we didn't. We've already done the four games, so um, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode and we'll finish the season off and then we'll take it from there, really. So, yeah, 
Thank you as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe, please like the video and uh, please leave a comment. But yeah, all the best.